So now that we know what the arithmetic series is all about, let's see how we use the arithmetic series sometimes uh, with a sigma notation. So do you remember what we meant by sigma notation? Uh, that's something like sigma okay, i is my index going from 1 to uh, whatever, let's say 20. Okay, and inside here we have something like 2i and that means each time I'm going to start with i equal to 1 and I'm going to just replace it. So 2 times 1 plus 2 times 2 plus and this goes on all the way until i actually reaches 20. So 2 times 20. Okay, now let's just go and use that in terms of a series because I can just say well this is term 1 and that is term 2 and then I'll have term 3 all the way up until I have term 20. So another way of writing term 1 plus term 2 plus term 3 plus all the way up to term n is to say well we just take the sum of i going starting at 1 at 1 and going up till n of what well of t i okay so there we go any series can be expressed with a sum function or oh, a sum uh, sigma notation i mean sorry okay so what if this was an arithmetic sequence or arithmetic series to be more precise okay if it's an arithmetic series it means that every term t every term tn is of the form a plus n minus 1 d so for example term 7 would be a plus 6 d okay or any random term let's say term i would be a plus and instead of n i just have a i i minus 1 d that means that this is another way of expressing the arithmetic series i going from 1 to n so the sum of the first n terms for an arithmetic series can be expressed with sigma of a plus i minus 1 d like that so let's look at an example so let's say we had random number 9 plus 4 plus uh, minus 1 minus 1 minus 6 minus and this goes on okay and I need to go and write this. So the question is write in sigma notation. That's what they want me to go and do. Then all I need to do is say, okay, well, I know that Sn is equal. If I had to do it in sigma notation, if I know that this is arithmetic, how do I know it's arithmetic? Well, let's take consecutive terms and subtract them. 4 minus 9 gives me negative 5. Negative 4 minus 4 gives me again negative 5. I see that constant difference. Negative 6 minus minus 1 gives me plus 1 so that gives me negative 5 again. Okay, So I see my constant difference and then I know okay in this that's my a value my first term and that's my d value negative 5. So all I need to go and do is I know that the arithmetic series can then be expressed as this format, the sum of the arithmetic terms, sorry, not an n, an i, because I'm going to use i equal 1 to n. n would be the last term. Okay, so that is the sum of i equal 1 to n of a which is the first term 9 plus i minus 1 times d which is negative 5. 
so let's just simplify it sometimes it just simplifies prettily if that's a word okay i equal well it's a word now from now on a math expression that looks pretty afterwards is called a prettily math expression okay so multiply it in okay we get negative 5i it's not that pretty is it okay negative 5i negative 5 and negative 1 multiplied gives positive 5 plus 14 so plus 14 okay at least it's purple that's a bit prettily okay and there we go we've expressed this sum function as or actually this series in sigma notation okay sn would be equal to that now let's say they give me a sum like they tell me that sn is equal to the summation of i equal 1 to n of 4i minus 1 something like that and now they tell me to go and find uh, term 1 2 3 now oh, let's make it term 1 20 find the sum of the first 120 terms okay this time we're going to do it the opposite way around let's go and use this thing let's just go and write it out so i starting with 1 then we get 4 minus 1 is 3 plus that now i is 2 2 times 4 is 8 minus 1 is 7 plus 3 4 times 3 is 12 minus 1 is 11 and this is going to go on and on and on I just need three terms just to check if it is an arithmetic series let's see 7 minus 3 is 4 11 minus 7 is 4 so it is indeed an arithmetic series so now I look at these two terms that being my first term and this being my constant difference okay so since I know it's an arithmetic series I can just use the arithmetic series the sum of the first n terms formula so n over 2 2a plus n minus 1 d and now I simply substitute n is 120 divided by 2 2 times 3 is 6 plus 120 minus 1 gives me 119 d is 4 okay so let's go calculate that 120 that's 60 plus 2 times 3 is 6 plus ooh, 119 times 4 120 times 4 will give me 480 so minus 4 that's 476 and now 60 and this becomes 482 okay so let's multiply this okay 0 6 times 2 is 12 6 times 8 is uh, is 48 plus 1 is 49 6 times 4 is 24 plus 4 is 28 28920 that would be the sum of the first 120 terms if that series is expressed like this and eventually becomes that cool